Good evening, my lovelies. It's Elodie, the tale telling fairy. Guess what I want to talk to you about tonight? I want to talk to you about what is your favorite food? <gasps> Do you know what that is? That's one of my favorite foods. It is called a beignet. Oh, it's a fancy word for a donut. <laughs> I love donuts. I'm sure you do too. But, hmm, do you have a favorite food? I know I have many. This is just one. Well, I want to tell you about a friend of mine named Eric Carl and some friends of his. They made tonight's book, What's Your Favorite Food? Oh, look at that. And I have also put in there pictures of them when they were little. Oh, let's see what their favorite foods are. Are you ready? I am. Oh. Tannin Honig, or otherwise known, Pine Honey. This Eric Carl's very favorite one. Ooh. You know Eric Carl. He wrote The Very Hungry Caterpillar. <laughs> I think he likes food. Eric Carl, I mean, not just the caterpillar. Many years ago, when I grew up as a small boy in Germany, I loved honey, honig in German. Honig on farmer's bread and some butter spread on first is perfect. Ooh, it's very good. Later, when I had grown up, I discovered Tannin honig. Tannin are pine trees. This honey is the best honey in the world, in my opinion. That is, rich and dark like the pine forest itself. The first step in making tannin honig is for insects to drill little holes into the needles of pine trees for the sweet juice. Then bees cleverly cleverly and shamelessly steal that juice from the insects by tickling them so that the poor aphids release the concentrated juice, jumping up and down laughing. Ooh, <laughs> I could see that. I suspect the bees now loaded with that juice return to their hive, where worker bees manufacture that glorious pine needle juice into tannin honig or Pine honey. Tannin honig is very hard to find in stores in the United States. Yes, telling the truth. First, as you may have heard, bees all over the world are dying from pesticides and mysterious diseases. Second, tannin honig can be harvested only in July and August. I haven't found any American pine honey. If you find any, please let me know. And cats don't like honey, I think. I am not sure. Hmm. But I had a dog once who did. Oh, look at that. The kitty's trying to get the honey. Let's see what his friend's favorite foods are. Oh, tricky pages. <gasps> cheese! Oh, I love cheese. Look at that. Nom, 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 nom. Benji Davies loves cheese. Look at him right there. He's painting. Cheese is the best, especially hard cheese, like cheddar or Parmesan. You can grate it, you can slice it, you can melt it, you can grill it or bake it until it goes golden and crisp. Best of all, you can eat it as it is in the small, sweet, crumbly pieces. Imagine a whole house made of cheese. Mmm, delicious. Oh, I wouldn't have a house for very long. I need it. And Isabel Arsenault loves cake. Who doesn't? Look at her. I think in that one, she likes spaghetti. <laughs> but cake. Oh, I never met a cake I didn't like. But chocolate cake with chocolate icing is my favorite. Mmm. She was adorable. Ramen, ooh, by Dan Santat. 
Ramen is a Japanese dish that consists of Chinese-style wheat noodles served in a meat or fish-based broth, often flavored with soy sauce or miso, and uses toppings such as sliced pork, dried seaweed, menma, and green onions. Nearly every region in Japan has its own variation of the dish. Oh, doesn't that look tasty? And look at Dan when he was younger. Oh, I bet he loved his ramen then, too. Ooh, let's see who's next. <gasps> salad! Oh! <laughs> I do love salad. Greg Pizzoli. Right there. Look. I don't know that that's salad he's eating. <laughs> but Greg loves salad. He likes the arugula. I like the peas. I like the tomatoes. And if you please, I like avocado and I like corn. I like to add sunflower seeds. I like a garbanzo, a lentil, any kind of bean. I like broccoli and I like celery. I like the carrots, the cukes, and the currants. But what I like most of all is that nothing in my bowl had parrots. <laughs> Look at that. He loves salad. And Misa Saburi loves strawberry daifuku. Oh, look at the kitty. Want some of that? Oh, doesn't that look good? Oh, nom, 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 nom. Mochi stuffed with sweet azuki paste and a fresh strawberry is quite magical. Doesn't that look tasty? Oh, look at Misa. <laughs> she's a cool kid. I bet she's cool now, too. That kitty really wants the strawberry daifuku. Mmm, tasty. <gasps> Berries! Bridget Barger, Barger, she loves berries. She writes, my favorite food is berries. They are wild and sweet and taste like summer. Oh, look. Her in the summer. Oh, she looks so happy. Do you think she just ate some berries? I think so. I get that happy when I eat berries, too. <gasps> Lori Keller. She loves french fries. <laughs> Do you know how french fries are made? Well, the sun is a giant potato. And when its potato rays turn golden and crispy, they fall to the earth. The first one landed in France, which is why they're called french fries. Yum. They're so delicious. This may not be the way they're made, but it sure tastes like it. Oh, yeah, they taste so good and crispy like the sun. Look, salt cloud. <laughs> Ketchup cloud. Look at all the little french fries. Oh, look. She has a puppy. I love that. Do you think she feeds french fries to her puppy? I have a kitty cat that likes french fries. Shh, it's a secret. <laughs> ah, paella. Feliz Felicita Sala loves paella. That's how you say that. Look at all the ingredients. I love it because there's a party in this pan and everyone's invited. Oh, that's for sure. Look, you have garlic, chorizo, onion, rice, clam, string bean, a pea, bell pepper, a prawn, also a shrimp. Squid, mm. lemon, paprika, mussel, don't forget the olive oil. Look at that. Maybe she's eating some right now in her picture. What do you think? Ooh. I'm getting hungry. Are you? Ooh. Chicken Alfredo. Shannon Wright loves chicken Alfredo. Look at that. She's so adorable. Let's see what she wrote. Whenever my dad made chicken alfredo, it felt like he had presented us with the grandest treasure. Even now, all I see are sparkles when it catches my eye. Oh, it does look very tasty. Look, she has sparkles in her eyes and sparkles all under pasta. Oh. Oh, let's see who's next. <gasps> Matthew Gordell. Oh, I couldn't say he likes pizza. Look at that. Look at all that pizza. Look at him. A very handsome young fellow. Look, 
I like pizza. I like pizza with veggies. I like pizza with cheese. I like pizza with extra cheese. I like pizza with turkey pepperoni. I like pizza. I like deep dish pizza. I like thin crust pizza. I like medium pan style crust pizza. I like stuffed crust pizza. I like pizza. He likes pizza. I like homemade pizza with homemade crust. I like homemade pizza with French bread crust. I like frozen pizza. I like delivery pizza. I like restaurant pizza. I like pizza. <laughs> I like pizza with a little bit of sauce. I like pizza with a regular amount of sauce. <laughs> I like pizza with extra sauce. I like pizza. I like hot pizza. I like warm pizza. I like cold pizza. I like pizza. I'm going to say he likes pizza. In fact, I like pizza. I like pizza. I like pizza. <laughs> Do you think he likes pizza? Hmm. We may never know. <laughs> Juliet Menendez likes potato fruit. Ooh, that looks delicious. Oh, there's a picnic. Potato fruit, subtle and sweet, is my favorite food. As a little girl, I couldn't wait for the rainy season in Guatemala when the potatoes would pop up along the cactus vines of Lake Atitalan and I could go with my cousins to pick them. We would climb along the rocks, hunting for them like treasures. Then we'd cut them into two little balls and eat them right up with a spoon and a sprinkle of lime. Oh, that does look delicious. Look how cute she is. Juliet, you are adorable. Oh, so cute. I bet she really liked them then. Huh? Oh, matzo ball soup. Karen cuts. Oh, every Passover I get to eat my favorite food. Matzo ball soup. The matzo balls are light and fluffy. Yum. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Oh, da, da, da. open up your another kitty cup picking. Look how wonderful. Oh, that does look really, really good. Ooh. Oh, ice cream. <gasps> Who doesn't love ice cream? Our body. Ooh. Aki, otherwise known as Delphine, her, she likes in autumn, winter, spring, or summer. Ice cream is always a good idea. I agree, Aki. I agree. Look how adorable. Beautiful. That's it. Oh, look, look. Do you remember when I said Eric Carl? He's the one that wrote that very hungry caterpillar. Oh, look. Right there. It's the Eric Carl Museum of Picture Book Art. Oh. And, oh, oh, oh. I'm beating myself up with the book. Eric Carl. Look at him. Oh. That's the end of it. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, it's really making me want my special donuts, beignets, which are French. You can get them in Louisiana. Ooh, no, 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 no. I guarantee. That's all for tonight. I hope you have sweet dreams. Ooh, dream about what your favorite food is. Ooh, tasty, tasty. You're going to wake up hungry, though. I apologize. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> no. Then you'll have a hearty breakfast. Until next time. Good night, my lovelies. Mwah.